All right, so before I jump into the three benefits, I want to first apologize. I was not going to finish this series of the veteran 10 day no alcohol challenge just because I didn't see anyone participating. Uh, I saw a few comments, a few things saying good job, but I just wasn't getting what I thought was enough. But when I stopped that series, I had several people contact me and say, hey, where are the rest of the videos in reference to the veteran 10 day no alcohol challenge? So what that showed me is that these videos are not for everyone, but they are for someone. So I wanted to continue that. Please accept my humble apology. I will finish this series. So you'll get the rest of the, the days that are left. So you should be on day number six. And if you are, congratulations. That's a big step. I know that you're going in the right direction and I'm very happy for you. So let's go into the three benefits uh, that I've noticed and done from my research and my own experience and having soldiers, etc. The first one is you might notice that you're going to have more energy now that you don't have something that's taking that. Now, let me stop for just a second, because when you're young, uh, you can handle the alcohol, the everything is flowing, you're, you're healthy and everything else. But when you get a little older, like me, when you hit 25 years old, like me, um, you know, things change. So those are the people I'm talking to, and I'm trying to get to the people before they get to a certain stage of their life where now it's impacting them a little bit differently and in a not so good way all the time. So the, the first one is you may notice that you have more energy. Now that you don't have, you have more time, the things that we talked about yesterday, more energy to do things. And the, the best part about that is you have to attack that as soon as you feel that energy. Go do something, get out, change your routine, do something that's going to benefit you, whether it's your health or you're getting chores done or you're doing some things that you never, you've always wanted to do, but just kind of put it to the side like we discussed in the other videos. Okay, so take advantage of that energy. The second thing is circulation, blood flow. Uh, when you get a little bit older, blood flow starts restricting and alcohol absolutely does not help that. As you get older, the, your blood vessels start constricting uh, with the alcohol, which limits blood flow to certain parts of your body um, that can impact you know, relationships and the things that we talked about before. So when you're not drinking alcohol, you're drinking all that great water, ice water, uh, regular tea, whatever it is, as long as it has more water and less caffeine and less sugars and things like that, you're going to have better blood flow. And if you're losing weight, some of you, some things are going to get out of your way for some stomach, and you're going to be able to enjoy a better lifestyle. We'll say we'll keep it PG. So blood flow, and that relates to the blood pressure as well. A lot of people who drink a lot of alcohol, uh, they have high blood pressure. So that's something to consider. So kind of regulate that. If you feel a little weird taking your medications, if you're on high blood pressure medication, uh, you may want to consult your doctor just to say, Hey, here's what I'm doing. Here's what's happening. Here are some changes that I feel and then get the professional help that you need. Okay. So circulation. And then the last thing is cognitive thinking, thought response, whatever that means to you. So you're going to be a little bit sharper. You're going to notice that, Hey, the words are not as slurred and slow. And this is when you're not drinking. This is just how alcohol impacts the brain. So you may notice that your thoughts are a little bit more quick more response. And for me, who's been a smart aleck pretty much my whole life has got me into a lot of trouble, but cognitive thinking response to what's being said, being on point, having the right word at the right time is so important, especially if you're in business and you're trying to relay your message to another business person who is looking to uh, get into your product. So consider those three things. So we looked at circulation. We looked at more energy, and we looked at cognitive thinking or thought and response. So go out and if you notice those things, make a mental note, write it down, put it in your blog, whatever you're, you're going to do re to record your response and uh, keep those at hand because that's going to be important a little bit later when we get to the end. So day six, a couple more days to go. You're almost done uh, and I want to be there with you. So thank you for reaching out to me for those who reached out and say, hey, I want to see the rest of the videos. Thank you. That's a very humbling 
thing for me. So thank you again for that. Have a great and amazing day. I think tomorrow's Thanksgiving, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, so have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday. I'm going to continue to put out these videos. If you have any ideas of videos that you want to see, because what I'm going to be talking about next is health because I did the alcohol challenge and I'm way past the 10 days, uh, but I'm also changed my diet, my food intake, the type of foods that I eat. So I may share that with you too. If you're looking to lose weight or if you're looking to get more healthy, that's the reason I did it. But put your comments, put your thoughts, please share this video because again, <clears throat> this video can reach somebody that you may not suspect may need it. So please share. I truly appreciate that. And I think it's going to help our community overall. So thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication to this country. Thank you for those who support our veterans and people who are doing the 10 day challenge. Thank you. Have a great day. I salute you all. Take care.